let's get into our next subject, which is the women's tag team titles. Now, this is where it may get a little controversial. I'm pretty sure some of the live chat are going to disagree with me, but let's talk about them. They We're going to crown new champions this Sunday at the Elimination Chamber. I will have a review live after the show uh, with Malik will actually be on that show along with Brian Williams. So make sure you guys join us if you want to talk about the Elimination Chamber. But let's um, talk about this women's tag team title. It came out of nowhere on a moment of bliss. And they are trying to promote these belts. And there's going to be a chamber match with all the women in it. Tag team title match. Are these titles a necessity right now in WWE with everything that's going on? Totality for the company. And let's start this one off with Malik. I think so. Um, obviously, there are always rumors going around for a while that they're going to have a tag team for the women's division. But a lot of people didn't really agree with it because of how they've been booking the women and everything. Me personally, I, I'm i happy that they have tag teams in the women's division now. I think it gives a lot more opportunities for a lot of the women that obviously won't be, you know, in the main event spots, but my worries is that they won't, they won't use it right. If that makes sense, mainly like, you know, they'll have the first women's tag team champions to crown Sunday, but then like, where does that go from there? Like, you know, are they going to be able, are they going to be booked right? Are they going to be defending the titles? You know, are they actually going to be on pay-per-views defending the championships? You know, like, will they actually be, will they be on the WrestleMania card? Are they going to be on the pre-show? So I'm interested to see what happens, um, but I think I'm not, I'm not really sold on the women's tag team titles yet. I mean, maybe my my opinion can change down the road. Maybe they do the right things with it. Who knows? But as as of right now, I don't really like it. But I think it opens up more opportunities though for women though. Let's go to Kevin next. Kevin, I want to hear your thoughts on the women's tag team titles. Are they a necessity at this point? So my my here's my take. Uh, I think they are a necessity right now because it and like uh, Malik just said, it gives women outside of the title picture something to do. And a lot of times in the past, even though they've been booking the division better recently, we've just sort of seen the title picture and then sort of the bunch of girls outside of it, not really with any direction. I think this provides some direction for people. My thing is, I don't think they should be crowned. I think we could have waited a little bit. I feel like this is a momentous occasion, and it should have been a WrestleMania coronation. Uh, I know we've seen one tag team chamber match in the past. It wasn't particularly great. It was just sort of okay. I don't know how it's going to go for the ladies tomorrow. But I, I do think they're a necessity. I think it's really, I think it's an important step forward for the women's division. Uh, you want to be, you, they want to be booked as equals. Tag team titles are a, are synonymous with wrestling, and I feel like they are. I feel like they're needed. I feel like the direction they go in after Sunday might be a bit questionable because there aren't that like there really aren't that many tag teams. I just think that uh but I think they could have waited a little longer. Okay. Um, let's go with foul. So so I think that I like I said there's a few quick things. I I remember when the TNA women's tag division like appeared out of nowhere and it was really good. Like it was really good. Um, there was some really good matches coming out of it. There was talent that was being used that wasn't being used at the time correctly. Um, and I think that it really, really worked. My major kind of worry for this, and it's something that Kevin said, um, is that this after this Sunday, are those going to be treated the same as the normal tag titles? I mean, I don't see a men uh, a men's Raw tag team title match happening not on the card anyway yet at Elimination Chamber. Will it become an afterthought? Will it become a just throw two women together? I don't see any big cohesive units um, within the women's division that wouldn't be just two singles. So we're going to see a lot of like um, rude and, you know, like glorious Gable kind of situations because, well, we've got two women, let's just throw them together. Uh I, I'm very excited for it, and it is a momentous occasion. And I totally also echo the sentiment: this should be happening at WrestleMania, not just out of throwaway elimination chamber. Um, 
it's it's all it it all seems like it's being done for the wrong reasons but and also at the wrong but at the right time if that makes sense follow up question for you file so do you think that this is being done based out of Remember when they said they were going to go through and make all these changes? And this is something I rant about all the time, and I bring this point back up. Do you think it's because of that why we're sitting here looking at this now? Like, why was this rushed? Everyone says it feels kind of rushed. Do you think it was because they said they were going to make those changes and they pushed it up? Or do you think this was the plan always? I mean, there's one thing that I can say. Aren't the WWE going back to Saudi Arabia in about a month or so? Yes. In May, I believe. Kind of rest my point then. I mean, this is this is in a this is in advance bum covering. I okay, I'm with it. Um, I mean, I, they deserve it. They've earned it. I don't say that whatsoever, but I feel like it's being done for a reason at the wrong time, at the at the right time, but for the wrong reasons. Okay, Omega Luke, I've been, I'm interested to hear your answer, brother. Yeah. So. Um... I think the reason why we're getting it now is because a few months ago when everyone was calling for it, WWE have made a reaction from that and think, well, this is what the fans want. We've seen sort of at the turn of the year, uh, Vince and the, the authority say, uh, come out and say, we're, we're giving you guys what you want. Um, I don't necessarily think it's what people want. I think people just want the women's division to be booked better. Um, Foul brought up the, the women's division in the tag division in TNA. And I want to give a shout out to single leg takedown wrestling and a guy called uh, Tybo. I think that's how you spell his name. And he did like a, a, a writing piece on it. And actually a fun fact he put on there was that Sanity's leader, Eric Young, was one half of the last ever women's tag team division. So that's a, a nice little... Um, fun fact for you there but when i seen that it brought up um because i knew i was coming on here i only seen that yesterday it brought up something in my head which i thought i'm going to bring this up here and i want you guys to sort of give me your thoughts on it really because what do you guys think we're, we're obviously getting this because uh wwe want to give more for the for the women's division and and, and blah 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 and, and the women's revolution do you think it would have been more of an effect if they just made someone like the riot squad <laughs> or the Iconics, someone like that, just tag team champions of like the the actual tag team champions rather than women's tag team champions. So they actually won the Raw or the SmackDown tag team championships off a men's division and and, and just went for it that way. Instead of, you know, we see Nia Jax come out in the men's rumble. Um, we're seeing that obviously they aren't against intergender wrestling now. So do you guys think that would have made a bit more of a statement if they did it that way? Um, um, does somebody want to tackle it first, or go ahead? You can go ahead, Connor. I think it would have been worse, and you know what? I'm not going to say anything on this because I'm going to go last because I have something that I'm going to say that's going to probably be completely different than you guys. So you know what, Malik, you take it over. I thought better of it. I think it would have been bad, but it could have got a lot of buzz going on. I mean. I don't – the tag team division overall right now in WWE is just terrible, if you ask me. But I don't think it would have been a really good idea to have that happen. I don't know how people would have reacted to it. It could have had a lot of mixed reactions. But I, I, the idea is different, though. I'm always down for different ideas. It's very different. But I don't know how – I don't think it would have been a good idea, in my opinion. This is how I feel about it. Okay. I'm, I'm with that. Um, Kevin. Well, do I think it would have been a good idea? What Luke said, what Luke was asking is if it would have made an impact. It would have meant it, it decided to saddle the riot squad or the iconics with the belts. You'd have people talking. It would be it would be one of the most talked about topics probably. And if that's if that's the goal in doing so is to make a statement to get buzz going. I think without a doubt that would get that would get the people talking. Yeah, definitely. And that was sort of like my point of it because even if it was um you know we see the mixed match challenge now. If they did a mixed tag team. So, you know, Lana and Rusev won the tag team belts off um you know Shane or Miz, something like that. Um to have just a woman in a team be part of the actual Raw or SmackDown 
SmackDown Tag Team Championships, I think would have made a bigger statement rather than, oh, look, we've made another new belt for the women's division uh, so that they can have a women's tag division. Like I am all for women's wrestling, but I'm not buzzed about it whatsoever because I feel like we're just getting given it because we're just asking for it. And, and it's like, well, we'll just give them what they want. They're not really planning these things, I think. But whereas that, I think, would have made a big statement, made a big impact. It would have been talked about, created buzz, like you just said, and, and um, would have put eyes on the product, definitely, which is what WWE want right now. Wow, yeah. I like that. Yeah, like I, I, I like that a, a lot more as well than like I like the fact like I'm excited for it because it reminds me of the um, Jera show and that whole undisputed tag team title situation where you've got one set of belts being defended on both shows. The champions feel bigger because they're on both shows and they get to do stuff, interconnected stories and everything. You could have a story start on Monday, end on Tuesday, and then go through to a pay-per-view. But I think I kind of agree. Like, if they want... You've just created a set of belts out of nothing to kind of say, all right, you guys can have this belt. But it doesn't feel like they'll have the amount of competition to deal with it. This might actually be very similar to what happened to the women's division to begin with. They had one belt. Sorry, they had yeah, they had the one belt and then they didn't have enough talent to surround that belt. So they just had the same matches over and over again until people got sick of it. And if you think about it, you're not just you've got let's say you've got 20 wrestlers, you now have 10 tag teams. So you now have 10 or well, 20 matches. You have a smaller amount of matches between them. And having a stable like the riot squad or something like that, that can work out, make it better. Yeah, and, and you mentioned there as well, having the same matches. That's what's happening in the tag team division right now. Like, we're seeing the same matches on Raw and SmackDown in the men's tag team. So that would be another benefit if you were to add women also to those divisions. How do you guys mm. How do you guys feel about this? I, I've always said that I would, I would much rather just have one champion that competes on each show. So just one world champion. United States champion, intercontinental champion, one tag team champion, one women's champion. They compete on both shows because I think that gives – it opens up a lot more storylines and it it creates more matches for, yeah. for other people. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Let me let me say something to that. That was my solution to all of this. <laughs> It'll make the titles mean more. If you want people to travel back and forth, go to this show, go to that show, you could actually give someone the world title. And I'm giving you the title because you're a ratings draw. And you're a big deal. So that's going to put the belt on people who you actually care about, number one, versus here's a pity reign because you're about your contract's coming up and I don't want you to go to AEW because your butt hurt. Uh, exactly. it, it puts the Intercontinental mm -hmm. title on a higher pedestal, tag titles, everything else. Now, you're going to have to form teams on these other shows, though, and figure out a way to compete. Fine, dandy, whatever. And maybe you could even have one exclusive title for each brand. Maybe like the US title goes with uh SmackDown and Raw gets the IC or vice versa. I don't really care. You could always change that. But you could have maybe one exclusive title or an exclusive division on one show, like the cruiserweights are on Raw. But if you want to see women's wrestling, you got to come to SmackDown. Whatever. There's plenty of different options for it. And I personally like that. Um, I know that when I did my podcast this week with Brian Mazik, shout out to him from Forbes, uh, Brian mentioned even having a six person tag title similar to what Luke was bringing up. And I thought that was very different as well. I, I want to just cut in there, actually, very quickly. So I, I had an idea for a new network show that could happen based on trios, based on a trios title. And you could have that as a tournament, which went on weeks after weeks after weeks, very similar to like um, the Dusty Rhodes um, situation with tag teams. You have trios, you'd get in, you'd pull in people from Shikara, you'd pull in people from IC. Every single major promotion would be happy to come in as trios. And you'd solve a lot of these problems with Sanity and a few of the others. And that would I'd be awesome. I'd watch the hell out of that. I'd watch the hell yeah, out would, of that. Every week, I would yeah. totally watch that. Let me Definitely. Hold on, let me cut in real quick. I have to do my I'm an indie fan voice for this. So you mean to tell me that you guys are going to steal ideas from Lucha Underground when their talent are going through contract disputes and you know they did that first, right? And you know people are going to say stuff like that. But you know what? If you can do it better than them, do it. 
uh, Lucha Underground doesn't obviously have the money at this point to do what they need to do. So let's see what happens. Actually, we're getting a lot of good stuff in here from the uh, live chat. Shout out to Wilfred Watches Podcast. I see him in here. We gave you a shout out earlier, my good friend. You missed the New Japan talk, but it's all right. Town Nation, thank you for joining us. Um, it's about wrestling since 03. This show is about wrestling easy to get twisted. Let me see. Town Nation, this is the beginning of all the end of the brand split, though. Uh, we have actual, but how many actual tag teams are there? Oh, they're going back and forth in here about this, too. Uh, Brian Walsh is in here. I don't know. Uh, my boy, Brian. My boy, Brian. <laughs> uh, TV deal, probably one-stop belt situation, but both companies still want belts. Absolutely. You guys are bringing up some good points, but I'm going to wrap this up real quick. So let me just give my final little rant on this. Dude, you started a women's tag division out of, I feel it was desperation. Like you brought up before, Fowl, you have an event in Saudi Arabia. What if this is your biggest show and everyone's like, dude, I love the women's tag division. This is the hottest shit going on right now. What can we do to see more of this? And then you go to Saudi Arabia and every you're like, tune into the WWE Network to see the best superstars, except for the women, because we can't do that. You know, that that's freaking stupid, in my opinion. Also, the women's tag titles. You can't even book the men's tag division properly. So why would you give yourself more belts to book? Absolutely horrible in my opinion and people in creative i know it's everyone says creative's good and they bust themselves when it's time i think people don't stand up to vince mcmahon and i'm not saying you have to do it crazily there's a respectful way to do it like when you're at work to stand up to your boss and then there's a disrespectful way someone needs to grow a backbone in that company and say vince this idea sucks there's no way and when it doesn't get over remember who told you so I don't think there's anybody in the company who does the Bruce Pritchard, the Pat Patterson, the Jim Cornette, even the Vince Russo. I don't think there's anyone in there telling Vince that's a bad idea, bro. And if it works, you got to eat crow. Vince was right about the New Age Outlaws. Hey, everybody had to eat that crow. Vince said they'll be a good tag team. Cool. We'll eat the crow. But I think this women's tag division is a terrible idea. I don't think it's going to work. I think it's going to be a lot of mixed up teams just because – You've got other people in these tag teams that you want to make a single star. Mandy Rose is going to be a single star. I'm sorry to burst everyone's bubble. She may even be facing Asuka at WrestleMania if things are going the way I'm seeing them. Uh, there's a lot of issues right now. Nia Jax is a single star. Why would she want to be weighed down by Tamina, with all due respect? Plus, Tamina... another, thing, another, another thing is that I feel like they're just going to have the title flip-flop. Like, like they're just going to have them flip-flop. Remember how they did with Charlotte and Sasha when Sasha won the belt on Raw, and two weeks later, Charlotte had the belt, and then now Sasha... I think they're just going to keep flip-flopping the titles back and forth, which is not good for the division. The only good thing I like about it is that supposedly they're going to be on both shows, which I think is really good. That's a good idea, but... Like, I, I, I don't see storyline-wise how... I don't, th I don't see them making that attraction big. I hear you. Um, I'm, I'm going to move on from the women's thing because we've all said our piece on 